Kim Heifel from Entertainment Weekly. I am here at Comic-Con with the cast of Cloak & Dagger. We are live on Facebook, so be sure to send in your questions. We'll start with my questions, because last night's episode ended with, like, quite, a, quite an image, quite a moment. Oh, yeah. I really, I want to start, like, how is Bridget going to, how is this going to affect her moving forward? We got two episodes left. Well, I think last night you started to see Bridget soften a bit. She's been pretty hard up until that point. And, uh, yeah, it, it definitely makes her want to go after Connors even more. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, was this your, your twist on the, the whole fridging of it all? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, um, <laughs> our writer's room, especially a lot of the women in the room, were like, let's turn it on its head. Let's take this, this trope that we've seen in genre so much and reverse it. And it was great to have Lane Miller, who was, who was our nice Officer Fuchs. And Emma kind of reversed the roles that you usually see in, a, in the typical cop show. And, um, and then we got to muscle up a little. That's what we do. Yeah. Well, for heading into these final two episodes, for our heroes, I feel like this journey, my favorite thing about this show, and I've talked to Joe about it, is the pacing of this season. Like, it's been such a wonderful, like, really watching them deal with these powers. What does it mean? Going into these final two episodes, where are they at in this journey? Are they, do you feel like they're ready to, like, fully embrace, like, a hero's status? Where are they? I'm not sure if they're ready to embrace it yet, but they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely in the right direction. I feel like, you know, I always say this, that Ty and Tandy are really starting to grow up. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like, you know, what comes next is just taking, you know, full responsibility of, of what they feel that their plan is. So I feel like that plan is definitely going to be, you know, someday to save the day. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot on their plate right now. Like, I don't even understand how they're coping with it. I mean, I... When reading these scripts, I was like, God, it was like one thing after the next. And I was like, I'm exhausted, Joe. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, they're dealing with a lot and, and they're teenagers, you know, and they not only are they trying to learn how to cope with their everyday real life teenage struggles, but they're also learning how to cope with how to manifest a light dagger out of their hands or how to teleport. <laughs> so it's pretty bananas. Right. Life's not hard enough as a teen. Right? Just throw some, <laughs> just, just a couple throw some balls. Uh, we have a Facebook question. Brendan Smith would like to know, what has been your favorite scene to film so far for everyone? I know what mine is. Go Tell -tell. for it. The, the swamp scene yeah. that we did. Yeah. It was, it was such a beautiful experience and it was one of my first days on set and just working with Liv was just a gorgeous experience and we were in the water in waders we were just doing it and we were in <laughs> real new orleans swamp water yeah yeah, yeah. oh wow yeah, in like 100 percent humidity that, wasn't a set. that was legitimate <laughs> like a gator could have come out at any point straight up <laughs> and we shot another water scene we saw like four gators we weren't we're in the like, water at that not point. at that oh, point like, yeah but we saw some we had we're a like, gator wrangler on set by the way oh, good. Yeah. yeah yeah we're could very we, safe we just went for it um, but yeah, I really loved that scene. It was a really beautiful scene between both Mina and Tandy. You know, yeah. they both went through the same experience, sort of, you know, I lost, or Tandy lost her father, and Mina, you know, is, hasn't been with her father for eight years. So yeah. I think, you know, sort of coming from a vulnerable place, obviously not talking about their relationships with their dads, but it sort of stems from there, I feel like. Sure. And just sort of watching their relationship build is, is pretty spectacular and special. Yeah. Totally. Anybody else have a scene? I can't tell you my favorite scene yet because it hasn't <gasps> been on air. But <laughs> oh, we love that. <laughs> Which we have to keep no, watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Right. Keep watching. <laughs> we, I, I feel like we have some really cool scenes in the last episode, and they're really moving. Aubrey, it's funny because I, I couldn't cry. It didn't make sense for my character to cry, and he's so good. And in these scenes, I had to keep holding back tears, and then they would like turn into snot, and I had to be like, "Oh God!" <laughs> but there are some really. <laughs> I was like, "No, don't do that." But we had some really beautiful scenes together, and Aubrey kills it. They're they're really moving. Likewise. I would probably say my favorite scene to shoot was uh, all the stuff with the cloak in episode eight. Like, it, it just, you know, it was a moment that everything felt real. Um, and just <laughs> being able to run around in, like, that big purple, <laughs> like, beautiful cloak. I don't know. It just felt so good, you know. So I'll never forget that moment. Yeah. yeah. Definitely not. Um, we actually have another fan question that I really like from Edward Sanchez that says, what's your favorite food from New Orleans? Which is where the show is oh set. Beignets. Daisy Dukes. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know why he <laughs> said that. It's a good restaurant, but it's like there's so many other amazing, <laughs> amazing places. Amazing ones. That's yeah. so random. I was, I was obsessed with this like takeout diner place called Daisy Dukes. Shout out Daisy Dukes. Uh, <laughs> 
And it like it, it it got me sick like every single time, but I still ate it. <laughs> yeah, he would come to work the next day. You like, only live once. He'd be like, oh, I don't feel Joseph, good. Man. I'm like Daisy Dukes. He's like, yeah. And I feel like Bro. when we were like shooting, you'd be like, oh my god, we're going too late. Daisy Dukes is gonna be closed by the time I get home. This is true. This is true. It's, you're gonna Daisy Dukes. <laughs> All right, before I let you guys go, give me one word reaction to reading the finale. Shocking. Speechless. Dang, we're really about to go home. That that was my first reaction. Like, that's not dang. one word. <laughs> oh no, that's fine. That's fine. That's a one reaction. word. Uh, that's that's yes, one word is. in my language. Uh, nah, I guess just really shocked. Yeah. Um, that was two word. words. That was two words. Uh, he took my word and made it into two. What <laughs> <laughs> was your word? I can't remember. Shocking. Oh. And he said real shocked. I said like, holy shocked. beep. There you go. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank Crazy. you guys. So much Thank for stopping you. by. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having us.